Well, the piece is titled, Gather Up the Fragments, and that title comes from the Bible. It's from John chapter 6, where it says, Gather up the fragments that remain, lest nothing be lost. And that's kind of what I was trying to do in the quilt. I was gathering up fragments. There's all kinds of things in the quilt. There's little bits of trim. There's loose bits of threads seek, uh, pushed underneath a piece of netting to hold them in place. There's all kinds of fabrics. There's even digital photos in there. And certainly there's cut up paintings. So a lot of fragments gathered together to express this story. I saw three paintings of women's faces and the paintings weren't treated very well. They were out of their stretchers. They were cracked and bent up and they were stuck into the door of a van and they were selling them for three paintings for $10. And I looked at the faces of these women and I thought, I don't know who these women are. I don't know their names, I don't know their stories, and the vendor didn't know either. So the idea of looking for the antique quilt that I didn't know the story of, and the painting that I didn't know the story of, came together into an idea that I wanted to tell the story of quilters of the past, because even though I do consider myself an art quilter, I consider myself um, a continuation of tradition. Certainly I was thinking of how women see themselves, how women are seen by others, especially in the time where they really didn't have a voice to express themselves. And that is why they often would use quilts to express themselves. So that appealed to me, like who are we? And how are we seen? I, th I think there's a lot of ideas of memory in the quilt, and I think it's got elements of a Victorian crazy quilt, so I think they might think about that I'm romantic, and I hope that they would think that I am an artist, that even though the quilt may resemble the sort of thing that someone might put on their beds, this artist must have had a different purpose for this piece. I don't know these women and I don't know their stories. So, they, and it's all about memory. And so I think maybe the holes in the quilt mean that there's something in these women's lives that I don't know, that maybe they are not willing to tell me, or maybe they don't remember. So the holes are secrets that I'm not allowed to know.